Okay, here's a real quick video on converting my fuel filter from being in the rear of the car, back here somewhere, to, uh, actually, let me see if I can grab the, the good one somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Converting it to a you know, nice, shiny uh, AM line uh, fuel filter. So, a couple of things that are going to happen is that you got to choose how far um, you want to convert the line. In my case, what you'll see is I decided to cut the fuel filter off um, at, at two of the uh, metal parts. Now, what that means, going back to the back of the car, is I've chosen down here, you can barely see it, actually. Yeah, you can barely see it. But what's important to see is that I'm underneath, let's see, this is the rear of the car. So you can see where I'm, I'm going into. And once you pull up the, the cloth, you'll see there's the fuel, uh, there's a plate on top of this, but there's the fuel feed and uh, return lines. I'm deciding to take a brand new braided uh, stainless steel line from here and run it to underneath the car. Um, you'll see a ground wire hanging out, but underneath the car back there. So really, I'm going to be running it from a normal, you know, there's a rubber hose inside of here, so a normal um, connector with a nice little um, clamp, worm gear clamp, and then I'm going to convert it into a uh, A&N &N fitting. So in this case, what you see here is it's an A&N &N fitting going into the rubber hose, and then I'll clamp that as well. But what's fascinating is I'm going to need to turn that into something that's usable because that's just this hose side. I have to hook it to the fuel line that's underneath the car. So, turn this into a mail. And um, we've got two pieces. I think one's called a... Uh, one, well, one's the nut, and one's like a, a sleeve or a tube sleeve or something like that. So, this little guy doesn't look that useful, but he's actually pretty damn useful. So, what happens is, imagine that this is the, the piece of the fuel line that's running underneath the car. There's a little thing like this that lets you, you'll see a little blade in there, it lets you cut the fuel line nice and evenly, unlike, <laughs> unlike this. So, you cut the fuel line, you then put this little guy on, well, sorry, you put both of these on to the line, and then you take a nifty, oops, it's falling. this is a flaring tool, so in our case, it's five sixteenths, so you put the line in there. Now, what's very important, unlike the tools that you buy, you buy at uh, uh, Lowe's or Walmart, you can even see it. That is not a forty-five degree angle; it's a, it's a thirty-seven degree. So, flaring A and N tools, you're going to need a thirty-seven degree degree flaring tool. Um, I'll show you. We we'll can put it in the video. It's a Summit nine hundred uh, three hundred and eleven tool. So you can Google that and and uh, buy that there. So these are all the, the things that will ultimately turn this line into this, which is, becomes very useful. Now, um, as a little last piece on my video, I'm going to be doing the same with my fuel lines right here. So on both ends, I'll be able to run AN lines and uh, run high pressure. Okay, that's my AN line and fuel line uh, overview.